Okay, so today what we're going to work on are operations with functions. So do the try this, so put me on pause and give the try this uh, a shot, and then come back and check your answer. Okay, so hopefully you did the try this. So notice that we are subtracting polynomials. So I have 4x squared plus 3x minus 2, subtract 6x squared minus 3x plus 8. So when you subtract polynomials, you have to remember to distribute that negative 1. So we have 4x squared plus 3x minus 2. Distribute the negative 1, we get negative 6x squared plus 3x minus 8. And then we combine like terms. So I have 4x squared minus 6x squared is negative 2x squared. 3x plus 3x is 6x. And negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10. Alright, so that's one of the things that we're going to be working on today. All right, so the arithmetic com combination of functions. All right, so we have some difference, product, and quotient. So it's just uh, some notation we have to go over first. So sum can be written as f plus g of x. So that means to add the functions together. And this is equivalent to f of x plus g of x. So you add the functions together. Difference would be f minus g of x. So you subtract the functions f of x minus g of x. So just remember when you subtract, though, you have to distribute the negative 1. Product, product means to multiply. So it's f times g of x. Right, so you're multiplying f of x times g of x. And quotient, quotient means to divide. So it'll be f over g of x. That's an f in there. Still an F, doesn't look like it. There's an F. And that would be F of X divided by G of X. And just remember, G of X cannot be equal to zero, because then it would be undefined. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. And we have, uh, I gave you two functions, F of X equals 2X plus 1, and G of X equals X squared plus 2X minus 1. And for the first one, I'm looking for F plus G of X. So I want to add them. So that's 2x plus 1 plus x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now, since we're adding, we just have to combine like terms. So I have x squared, 2x plus 2x is 4x. And then I have 1 minus 1, well, that's 0. So my answer is x squared plus 4x. All right, let's take a look at the second one. We have f of x minus g of x. So you have to use parentheses because they're binomials and trinomials. So it's 2x plus 1 minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. All right, distribute the, distribute the negative 1, so it's 2x plus 1. Distribute, you get negative x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then when you combine like terms, we get negative x squared, negative 2x minus 2x, that cancels. 1 plus 1 is 2, so it's negative x squared plus 2. Okay, let's look at the multiply and divide. So I have a couple of new functions. So I have f of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 14, and x minus 2. Okay, so we're going to first multiply f times g of x. So I'm going to multiply. I like to multiply trinomials and binomials. I like to do it up and down. Okay, so I have negative 2 times 14, negative 14 is positive 28. Negative 2 times positive 5x is negative 10x, and negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. And then we have x times negative 14 is negative 14x, so I like to line them up. x times 5x is positive 5x squared, and x times x squared is x to the third. Okay, and them down, we get x to the third. Negative 2x squared plus 5x is positive 3x squared. Negative 10x minus 14x is negative 28, 24x, and then we have plus 28. All right, let's take a look at number two. So it's division. So it's f of x divided by g of x. So f of x is x squared plus 5x minus 14 over x minus 2. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to factor so that we can see if we can reduce anything. Because you can't do this. You can't, you can't take the x's here and do like x and x. That doesn't work. And then do 2 and 7. 
That doesn't work like that. All right, so let's get rid of that. What you have to do is you have to factor. We're going to factor the numerators. The numerator. So we get, I'll do it over here on the side, up top, I guess, negative 14x squared. So what multiplies the 14 minuses to 5 would be 7 and 7x and 2x. So that'd be positive 7, negative 2, negative 14, x squared, and then we'll group. So I get x times x plus 7, negative 2 times x plus 7. So my factors are x minus 2 and x plus 7 over x minus 2. Now, x minus 2 can't be factored, so I like to put it in parentheses. So now, notice they both have x minus 2 in the, in the numerator and denominator, so they reduce to 1. So my answer is just x plus 7. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice in class tomorrow. Have a good night.